What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing a banger of a team that features Zamazenta, Salamence, and Life Orb Entei. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel or new here, consider subscribing. Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time. All you gotta do is scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button to join the community. But this team right here was sent in by my main man, Clover Bells. Clover Bells, shout out to you. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. This team's looking amazing. It really is. Zamazena, he's definitely a uh, less use restricted mon, but I feel like if we use him this way with the Howl move, and using him to boost attack on our Pokemon. I feel like he can be really, really strong and help the team get the victory. But shout out to him. Link to his channel will be down in the description below if you guys want to go check him out. But getting started on this team, we'll start off with Zamazetta in that top left corner with Dauntless Shield. And then the Rusted Shield as its item. So every time he hops into battle, he's going to be able to get that plus one defense boost and be pretty bulky to get things started. Iron Head, Close Combat, both for our stat moves. How to get plus one on attack. I think it's plus one, right? Or is it plus two? I think it's plus one. It is definitely plus one. But then we got Protect for his final move. Right next to him is Entei. Life Orb Entei over here, who's going to pair super, super well with that Samazena. Considering if we could boost its physical attack, it's going to be able to just go out there, deal some massive amount of damage, and just take out Pokemon left and right. Inner Focus has its ability, Life Orb as its item, and then we got Sacred Fire for Stab, Extreme Speed for First Turn Priority, Crunch for our coverage move, and Protect for our final move. Middle left is one of my favorite support mods to use in this whole game, and that is Screen's Grimstrong. I don't know why, ever since I started playing Pokemon Sword and Shield Online Double Battles, I've been loving this Pokemon, just being able to set up screens and controlling the battle a lot with them. We got Prankster ability, Light Clay as our item so our screens stay up longer, and then we got the two screen moves, Spirit Break for our stab and special attack drop, and Sucker Punch for stab and first turn priority. Middle right is going to be a Pokemon that we haven't seen in a while, and that is going to be Salamence over here. And I feel like Salamence has a lot of viability in this uh, meta right now, considering he does rock Intimidate as his ability. It could be really, really strong, and it can actually uh, take out physical attackers pretty easily. He also has a Rocky Helmet as his item right now, and he is Dragon and Flying type, so we have two stab moves with Breaking Swipe and Dual Wing Beat. Then we got Rock Tomb, which actually gives us a little bit of speed control and damage all around, and then Protect for our final move. So I think he can be pretty solid with the speed control with Rock Tomb, the Intimidate for attack drops, and he can hit pretty hard considering his uh, his attack is pretty high up there on the board. Bottom left corner is going to be Suicune. She can also give us speed control with Tailwind. She also has Scald, Ice Beam, and Snarl to drop special attack. Really, really great Pokemon all around considering it rocks inner focus as well. And then we gave this thing the Citrus Berry just so it's a bit more bulkier than it normally is. So it can soak up some shots. When it drops down below half, we'll eat the berry and be able to get some more HP. Final Pokemon on this team is Rillaboom. Absolute beast in this meta. Everyone loves him. Super, super strong and just great all around. This thing's rocking the normal moveset of Fake Out, Grass God, U Turn, and Drum Beating. Actually, it's not a normal moveset because we never really see Drum Beating. People usually don't rock it out anymore, but it's a very strong move, especially in terrain. So hopefully, we get that show, to all, show that off and get some kills with that. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Hal Zamazenta team. Our opponent's team cannot get more meta than this. This is a staple Zacian team. Like, every single Pokemon is meta with this squad. He's got the Incineroar, the Zacian, the Rillaboom, Regilecki, Landorus, and Urshu. Like, that is, like, staple meta right there. That is, like, staple Zacian meta team. It's like the Kyogre Tornado's team just with Zacian. But, hey, we're hopping in battle number one. Let's dump on this guy. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Who should I go into? How should I play this one? Um, I definitely want to bring Zamazen. I definitely want to get the Howl rolling. I feel like Entei could be really good here as well, considering we have inner focus, so fake outs can't hit us, and Intimidates cannot drop our uh, attack either. But I do like that. Let's go Entei and Zamazeta. We can probably just Howl and kind of get off there. And I could. Hmm, who do I want to. Who else do I want to go here? We might lead the Regilecki, which I really don't like. Which I really don't like. But we'll just see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. Uh, do I bring the Rillaboom in the back end? Rillaboom could be solid, but definitely want to bring the Salamence for that attack drop. Intimidate could come in uh, great in the back end. And then I'm thinking Rillaboom. I'm thinking Rillaboom, even though we're not rocking any speed control. I kind of want to get off a of Tailwind. I could uh, I could go here to swap you out for you. And then bring Salamence third. I'm kind of liking that a little bit. Go with a Suicune and Entei combo. Because Suicune should be able to eat up a uh, an E-Web all day. Say he goes into Regilecki, he should be able to just eat that up all day. I really do think that. And then be able to get off a Tailwind and kind of get my team rolling from there. Because I think it still hit pretty hard without the plus one. It just hits a lot harder with the plus one. 
But we'll see how this one plays out. But guys, let me know for question of the day in the comment section down below. I got a good one for you guys. For each starter type, so water, fire, and grass, give me your three. Give me your three. If you had to pick one of each out of every single game, what three are you taking? That's a great question for each type. You gotta give me one fire type, one water type, and one grass type. For me, I'm definitely taking Trico for Skeptile and Polion and Pipplup. I really do like them. And fire. Fire. Who am I going for fire? Definitely not Emboar. Definitely not Incineroar. Definitely not Finnegan. Maybe now. I wouldn't say Sinrace. I'm thinking, I'm thinking just typical Charizard could work out here. I'm thinking typical Charizard could work out here. That or Typhlosion. They're both really, really cool. Definitely really, really cool. But let's hop into this battle. Let's try to get ourselves a win here. I could protect turn one, which could be pretty easy. Which I might just do. Ooh, he's going to fake me out. He's 100% fake me out. Do I protect on you? I do not. I do not have a uh, protect on you. So he's definitely faking out you. So I might as well just go straight for a... Uh, Straight for a, uh, I don't even know, dude. All these moves stink, man. Let's go for an extreme speed here. And I guess we'll try to get off the Tailwind. I guess we'll try to get off the Tailwind. I think it automatically goes to Tailwind. Oh, he does not. He did not. He did not go for a fake out. He's gonna go straight for a Surge of Strikes. Should have protected, man. I mean, he hits Super Attacks anyway. That's probably gonna take me out. I'm surprised he didn't fake me out there. He's dead. Get out of here, I'll tell you. You're done. Too busy talking about question of the day and starters. And then I had like 10 seconds left to choose, and it just wasn't it. But he might just go for a party shot. We're gonna set up our tailwind, start taking speed control, and I still think we're decently fine in this battle. I really do. He's just gonna party shot. That's totally fine. Hopefully he brings out a special attacker. Because if he does at that point, I can just kind of start uh, snarling down. But like I said, we have tailwind all day. We have a lovely little tailwind. Means I can bring out my Zamazetta and kind of get rolling out from there. I really want my Entei. I really do. Let's see who he brings out first. This is a physical attack, so Intimidate could work really, really well here. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing out Salamence. Get that Intimidate down on this guy and kind of get after the game, the match this way. And I could just swap into Zamazetta, get that plus one defense, and take away that uh, that parting shot on my Suicune. So I'm really liking that. I am really liking that. So we'll get the Intimidate, and then we know he's going to Grass Guide into Suicune slot. We know that's happening. We could fake out. What, like, what do I think he's going to do? It's tough, but still. Intimidate popping out here, which is great, up against two physical attackers. Surge of Strikes is still going to do a big amount of damage. A big amount of damage all around. But I still think a dual wing beat, you can outspeed and kind of get after that Pokemon. And take him out one shot, no problem. And then just bring in uh, Zamazetta for the, the swap, the defense boost, and the Grand Glide eat up. Because I really don't see him going into a fake out. I really don't see him going into a fake out. Not one bit. Not one bit. I just see the guy coming out here, him looking for a big KO. So if I can make this read, that could be huge because we can take out Urshifu here. And then we can take out Roboom potentially next turn as well. We know we'll definitely be able to take Urshifu out with this dual wing beat, but maybe not the Roboom. Let's see how this plays out. There's my huge defense boost as these guys are both physical and minus one. And he's going to end up withdrawing the Urshifu. Okay. They withdraw the Urshifu and he's going to go into Incineroar for an Intimidate drop. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I am cool with that. We do have to get rid of that Pokemon, though. We do have to get rid of him. And a fake out is going to fly. I'm gonna go over in the Salamence slot. Oh, wow, Lucky Biscuit. Lucky Biscuit, but he does take some nice Rocky Helmet damage, which is great all around. Which is just dandy all around. So, now that we are minus, I still kind of want to go into a dual wing beat here. Which just be great. And I could just drop a close combat. Then do I swap after that, or I could how? We could start setting up this Pokemon. Let's start setting up the, the team. Let's start setting up the team here with our house. Fake out is going to fly through here onto you. And dual wing beat is going to fly through here. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Getting off some nice damage. Just chipping away, but I just had to start howling up. Dude, there's a crit. There's a lovely crit. A lovely crit. So we can take him out next turn easily. And he's going to go for a knockoff and take off my Rocky Helmet. Yep, there goes my Rocky Helmet. And he's going to take some nice damage for that. Some nice, nice damage for that. Now, the real question is, I think I just dropped a Rock Team, right? Rock Team should be able to pick up the double KO here after Hal. Oh, no. Rock Team's only hits one. I thought it hits two. I might as well just go for the Break and Swipe. Break and Swipe into the Hal. Get our attack back up a little bit and kind of walk from there. But he could just Parting Shot onto me, which I kind of see happening. I'm just going to start boosting Team's attack and trying to roll out from here. But there's the Withdrawal. And he's going to go into, go into Zassy because I got a Break and Swipe flying out here. Let's go. Big old break and swipe coming out here. Big old break and swipe coming out here for the minus one onto the attack board. 
Gotta love it. How's dropping? Beautiful. Beautiful. Team's getting a plus one. This team is getting a plus one. Freaking swipe. It's gonna fly through it. Who's it missing? Oh, it doesn't affect. It doesn't affect. I totally forgot. He's part fairy. He's part fairy. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. I thought he was just steel. I always forget, man. I always forget. Well, here comes the player blitz out here. We should be able to eat this, right? He's so tanky. He is so tanky. Very, very tanky. Very, very tanky there. I think uh, Tailwind is going to end here. So with that said, I kind of might just protect my Salamence. And see how this one plays out here. Protect Salamence. And we could just uh, get after... Get after you. We would eat up a berry after that. We're still going to do it. We're still going to drop our defense. And I think we might swap out after this. Let's see. Going to be very close. Going to be very, very close. Make a move, my guy. Make a move. So we're even on the board considering you're already intimidated. Ain't like hard swap here. I can definitely see happening. I can definitely see happening. And I think he's going to go for that fairy move across into my Salamence. That's why we're protecting. Hopefully we get off this block and we kind of just roll out from this battle. I think it would have been great. Oh, he's going to just Behemoth Blade, which we block up anyway. And Close Combat's going to fly. Can we get a KO? I don't think so. We do. We do. Good work. Good work, Samazetta. Picking up a big KO there. Now we definitely have to swap. We definitely have to swap uh, into Suicune. I wish I could double protect. I really do. Actually, I might protect with the Zamazetta and swap him. And swap the Salamence and then get the Intimidate off in a little bit again. That's probably going to be my play. Try to get a Tailwind. We, we definitely need a Tailwind out here. And of course, this thing mm, brings out Urshfu, man. He brings out Urshfu, which I still see us soaking up shots. But I'm just going to hard swap you into the Suicune. If we can get off, off another Tailwind, that would be wonderful. But I feel like we stay in here. We're going to... Uh, I feel like the Urshfu is going to hit us. I feel like the Zatian's going across and the Urshfu is coming towards me. Let's just see how this one plays out. We're going to swap because we definitely need this Intimidate drop again. What's he going for? What is he going for, dude? Urshfu hitting through protects is so strong. It really is so strong. Sacred Sword comes out here. Oh, that's a huge block for us. That's a huge block. And Urshfu is going to go for a Surgeon Strikes into Suicune slot. Show it to me. Show me into the Suicune slot. Nope. Into my Zamazeta. Who should be able to eat up just fine? Be able to eat up just fine here. And at this point, I swap the Salamence and get off a of Tailwind. Right? That's got to be the play. Tailwind now. And then we just uh, swap into the Salamence. Get off the Intimidate and kind of try to get after it this way. Because at this point, we'll have Speed Control. We can take out Urshfu, no problem. The Zamazeta or the Zacian is really our only problem. He really is only our only problem. Like I said, we should be able to take speed control. I don't see him taking out any of my Pokemon after this minus one on Intimidate. Just don't see that happening. Let's see his play. We have the Robin down to like one HP. And the grassy guy could come back to bite us. He's going to be able to bring out the surge to get first turn priority all day. Detect over there. So we waste out a turn with that. Show me a protect from his ass. Show me a double protect. That'll be huge. Anyway, he's just going to drop a Secret Sword. But Salomon says, yo, that is such a tasty snack. Eating up all day. Tailwind is popping. We get our speed back. Yeah, we're playing this one pretty solid. After losing our Entei early on. The Dual Wing Beat should 100% be able to take out him. I'm going to go for the burn over here with a Scald. And like I said, just drop a Dual Wing Beat. And try to get after this Pokemon. So I should be able to easily take him out. I do not have my Rocky Helmet though. Which is tough considering they're all physical attackers. Every single Pokemon he brought in are physical attackers. So if he didn't take off my Rocky Helmet, it would be eaten up all day. But Dual Wing Beat flies through here. That's easy KO. Get out of here, Urshfu. We take out the Urshfu. If this Skull can get a burn... Oh my lord, you better watch out. This Skull can get a burn. Come on, Skull. Do him dirty. Give me a burn. Give me a burn, baby. Show it to me. Give me the burn. Give it to me. No burn. Behemoth Blade flying through here. Probably on my Salamence, right? If I had to guess, that's on the Sally. Yep. Salamence eat up all day. All day, baby. So... Grassy Guide is probably going to fly out here. Right? If I had to guess, the Glide is going to have to fly out here, right? I think I might swap the Salamence right here. I think we're definitely going to need this Intimidate drop. Because we, we know we have speed. We could go for a Fake Out, so I could double down. I feel like this Intimidate is going to be huge for us. Mm, 
Hmm. We're just gonna take out you, and I am. I could protect this turn. What I wanna do? So we just protect this turn before we swap out. See if we can get rid of a Pokemon here. See if we can get rid of this Roll Boom. He's gonna go for a Glide. We should be able to eat that up. That's yeah, an easy. Our Berry is going to trigger, and now we outspeed. Now we outspeed, which is great. And now we get rid of Rillaboom. So super close battle here. Super, super close battle. So Rillaboom is dead. If this Zacian is going in for Salamence, that could be huge. We need him to go through Salamence. And he does. He bites on that. Beautiful protect by us. Yo, this is a great battle. So right now, we're sitting here with Suicune. I think we have another Tailwind turn left. And I have to swap out this, uh... I have to swap out this Salamence, right? And I have to go for a score. How many turns left in Tailwind? I think we have one. Let me, let, me, let me give a quick peek. We do have one. We have Grassy Terrain, but I'm definitely got to go for a Scald here. And just swap into Zamazetta because that Intimidate drop is going to be enormous again. If we can get off another Intimidate drop, that can just be huge. So we'll take the hard swap here. We'll go for another Scald. Try to get off some more damage, chipping away on this thing. And we'll try to roll off from there. Gauntlet Shield Pop and Defense Boost here. He is even he's not plus one anymore because we already intimidated and he's gonna protect that turn and i really like that turn i really don't mind that turn one bit so at this point he's just trying to waste out tailwind and i think i come in with another intimidate and i set up another tailwind just to take speed advantage for the rest of the game i just don't see him taking out my sweeping right right i don't see that happening so we'll tailwind we will set up a lovely tailwind and we will just hit that hard swap Back into him. Get this Intimidate out wrong again. Yo, dude, great battle. Now, just imagine if I wasn't off topic and still had our Entei. Like, I brought the Entei specifically to take out this, uh, Z uh this Zacian. Because he's still done. I could just dump on him with Sacred Fire. But, of course, we lose him super, super early into the match. Behemoth Blade is flying. He's going after. They're going after Suicune. If I had to guess, that's Suicune, right? But Suicune should be lead. No, it's Salamence. I'm cool with that all day. I'm fine with that all day. I am fine with that. We got off that Intimidate, which I really, really like. And a Tailwind is going to be out and about. So we got speed for the rest of the game. But that's really all I needed from that Salamence was just that extra Intimidate to lower that special attack or physical attack. This thing's back up basically to full health. I'm fine with that. We're going to bring out my my boy right here. And I think we just start dropping close combats at this point. Probably your best bet, right? This is just start dropping close combats. And going into skulls because if we can get off a burn that's pretty much going to solidify this match for us and it is stab so it'll do the most damage for us so skull coming out here and we're going straight for a close combat straight for a close combat he might protect this turn yeah so he is just going to protect start trying to waste out these uh these turns slowly but surely as if i would have howled there that would have been play i'm probably gonna howl next turn i really do think i'm gonna howl next turn because i think he's just gonna start trying to waste out tailwind so by going into this turn, I think he's just going to protect next turn. If my if my Zamazetta stays alive. If my Zamazetta stays alive. We'll Scald. We will close combat. Get after this guy. Get in after him. Let's do him dirty. All right, we should have two turns after this. I believe so. Let's see. Close combat flies through. How much damage are we chipping on this thing? Nice. Nice huge chunk there. Nice huge chunk there. Nice lovely chunk. Our special defense and defense falls down, but still, we're getting off a lot of damage. But yo, great battle by us. We're really turning the tides here. No burn, and Sacred Sword's gonna fly, which I think it should be lead. We do. We eat up all day. Thank you, Intimidate from Salamence. Thank you, Salamence. See, I told you that. Salamence has so much viability in this meta, I feel like. I just feel like he's very underused. I feel like he's definitely very underused. So, Grass disappears. Um, How many turns left in our Tailwind? I gotta check that one. It's really one, so he's definitely protecting here. He's definitely protecting here. I am going to Hal. 100% he's protecting here. Yeah. So he ends up protecting again, trying to waste off Tailwind. And now we're going to force him to come after Zamazetta. We're going to force him to come after Zamazetta by giving us that plus one. And I'm just going to protect. And I am just going to protect. That's why I play with this one. That's why I play. We're plus one. I'm going to force him to come after Zamazetta. 
A tailwind. If I can get off this tailwind, it's GG's. Which I should be able to. So if I just protect, get off this tailwind. So yeah, we're playing this one super slow but super well here. This is such a good first battle. We're going to force one to come after Zamazeta because we are plus one now. We should be able to set up a tailwind in close combat and finish the match off. And now he slides over, which is easy eats. I know Suicune can eat. So just by protecting that uh, Zamazeta pretty much solidifies the match. We tailwind, take speed control one last time. Yo. Three tailwinds in one match. It's a great battle. And now we should be able to scald, but more importantly, close combat should be able to just finish this one off and outspeed everybody and say GG's. Cancel the battle, dude. Wrap it up. You're playing up against Eugene, yo. I've been out playing you all game. There we go. 1 0. Let's hop to our second and look to go back to back. What a first battle to get this video started. I feel like we outplayed him and played super, super well for that victory. We actually earned that win, in my opinion. But we're hopping into our second, looking to go back to back. He has like a semi drought team with the Ninetales and the Charm for the Flower Gift, but then he also has the Dragonite, the Tapu Fini, Zacian, and Rillaboom. So it's a Zacian off meta team. I can dig it. I really do like it. Hopefully we can grab ourselves another win and go back to back. Um, I'm thinking of just leading the, uh, the Zamazeta right here early on into the Entei with the Inner Focus. I just think that works really, really well. We can Howl up and kind of get rolling from there, especially if he sets a Drought. We can do even more damage. So I really like that. Got to bring Salamence in here again, considering Salamence clutch stuff for us. And how, how else do I want to go through this one? How else do I want to go into this? Do I want to bring Suicune maybe for Tailwind back end support? Or do I just want to bring Rillaboom in here? I don't think Rillaboom's going to be that good. I don't think Rillaboom is going to be that good. So I'm thinking of just Suicune in the back end. The thing is, I really want to lead this Amazetta and Zacian. Or not, no, not Zamazetta and Zacian. That would be broken if you can have both of them on our team. But it's Amazetta and Tay. I'm digging this. I can get after it with this. Plus, I really want to show off just a Hal combo. Just boost attack left and right. Awesome. It's great for double that. I'm surprised not more people use it. Really, really good. We have been seeing a lot of uh, wars recently. Just some force swap outs. Like after somebody tries to get a boost, we can force swap out. Or on Xerneas's. Because most Xerneas's, turn one will go for a Geomance. And you just roar it out of battle. Get rid of its power herb. Just take it out from there. But he's going to lead the Rillaboom and the top of Finny. I could just double protect. It could just be easy. It's like that. But actually, I'm not going to protect the... Uh, I'm not going to protect the... Uh, the Entei. There's no need. There is no need. And he could go for a water move. Uh, what do I want to do here? We should be able to outspeed him both. I could double protect, but um, hmm. we know the fake out's coming. I'm just gonna protect you, and I'm just going to. I'm just gonna drop a sacred fire. I'm just gonna drop a sacred fire. Because we'll definitely be able to outspeed this top of Finny, and we should be able to circle up a shot from him as well. But he really doesn't have, like, one really, really strong, powerful water move. But I just see us being able to circle up a shot, or maybe him setting up a calm mine. We'll definitely see what he wants to do here. I think he might set up a calm mine. Let's go into the fake out onto the, uh, this Zamazetta. And then just calm mine. But we're going to protect turn one, just so this thing just take fake out damage. Yep, there's the fake out. Block. Block. Give me that big old block. And then we outspeed, go for a secret fire. We're just gonna be able to do a great amount of damage. Just take that thing out easily. Like, get that thing out of my face. We don't want it here. We don't need it here. Now, is this thing setting up a calm mine? That's the real question. Just gonna go for a mean look. I'm with it. I'm with a mean look. That's pretty cool. Okay. I'm with a mean look. I like seeing what people have to offer. So we can't escape anymore, but I can still howl. And that is what I'm going to do. He's going to bring out his next Pokemon, which is going to be nice. Yo, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Actually, we can't escape. He's just going to take out my Zamazenta, probably. So we're going to try to Howl here. And uh, do I just still go for a Sacred Fire? I feel like Sacred Fire is still going to be able to do the most amount of damage here. Right? And I'm going to go after his Ninetales. Like, I think, I think it just does more damage than the Crunch and the, uh, and the Extreme Speed. I really do. There's a nice lovely how. Now we're plus one in the drought. And Top of Finny can't do as much damage as, as he can. I think he's going to disable, bro. What? 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 Yo, what? What? What are these guys doing? Yo, that's actually pretty cool. What these guys are using. We're still just going to go for a Behemoth Bash, and I think we might just double down into... We're just going to go after this. 
behemoth. Yo, what? This Abel and Mean Look? Okay. Yo, I can get with it. I love losing the off meta teams. I just think it's so cool because they throw me off so hard. It's like, yo, I'm like not even expecting a Mean Look and a Disable. Behemoth Bash going to fly through here. We are plus one, so that is going to do a great amount of damage. Half it up. We might be able to take it out next turn. The Flare Blitz is going to fly through here. And eat. Don't like that. Don't like that, even though we're super bulky. Even though we are super bulky, I think it's gonna take a ridiculous amount of uh, recoil damage. Crunch is gonna be able to fly through here. And ooh, take that thing out, yeah. Disable my sacred fire, see what happens. See what happens. All day, baby. All day, and the moon blast is going to fly. And they, oh, you don't have to, you don't have to zombie Zeta with that. He's still eight, yo. We are so bulky. We are so bulky. We are so bulky. Gotta love it, okay. So, this is where we are sitting. Another Behemoth Bash will be able to take out you, but I think he's bringing out the Zacian. Which I cannot swap. I simply cannot swap. Which stinks, man. I cannot take out Zacian. I think Zacian's just gonna clean us up here. And we do have our Intimidate. Hopefully he doesn't bring him out here. There he is. We, we, we saw that. What am I supposed to do? He's gonna outspeed me. Blah, 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 blah. He's going to outspeed me. Hmm. And I guess we'll try to go for a close combat here. And I cannot use this because it's disabled. And look at this. I can't even swap. Wait, can I swap? No, I cannot swap. <laughs> I thought maybe there was a turn on there. Is there a turn sequence on it? Let's see. No, it's just can't escape and my moves disabled for that many more turns. Okay. So I think we protect next turn to get back Secret Fire. Maybe we just uh, crunch or we extreme speed. Just extreme speed. Get first turn priority. Chip away onto this uh, top of Finny. And hopefully he just takes out my Zamazenta. God dang the Sable. <laughs> like, what is this game? Nice extreme speed damage there. And he's just gonna go straight for a Behemoth Blade. But she's going after my Entei, right? Mm. Eat this up, baby. I know he goes after Zamazenta. Okay, I, I, I'm totally good with that. That's exactly what I want to have it happen. Okay, so he takes out him. Which, like I said, we want that to happen. I think we're thriving pretty well here. He's just gonna go for a Combine and start setting up. So now I can bring out my Intimidate, which should be great. And I think another Extreme Speed could potentially take that out. Right? Could potentially take that out. But the real question is, do I go for another Extreme Speed? Look for the KO? I mean, probably not now that he has uh, all that up. But I definitely have to Intimidate, and I think I Protect. You'll have our lovely little Rocky Helmet. So we'll swap you in here. We shall swap you in here. I could protect. Uh, hmm. This is really tough because. Hmm. Talmud should be able to outspeed, so. Definitely want to protect here. Just so we can get our Sacred Fire back next turn. And I'm hoping the Salamence can take him out with a dual wing beat, considering it's physical and he's special defense beat. Play rough come always. Play rough and with my Salamence. He does eat. Thank you, Intimidate. Intimidate clutching up. There's the Rocky Helmet damage. And dual wing beat flies through here. Mmm, we're not. Give me crit. Give me crit. Ouch. Now, what are you going for here? He's just going for a Moon Blast straight on. That's fine. So he takes out Salamence. Uh, we can bring out Suicune here. And I could just set up a Talon. I could set up an easy Talon. That's definitely going to be the play. Tailwind into Sacred Fire, because Sacred Fire is now not disabled. That poses a huge threat. A huge threat. Onto the, that Zacian. Because we know Zacian's not going to be able to take me out in one shot. He couldn't even take out that Salamence with the stab super effectively. So finally we get rid of the disabled. We haven't been able to swap any of our Pokemon here. That was actually a crazy cool first turn by him. The mean look into the disabled. I love it. I love that so much. I thought it was sick. I really did like that. But in our case here, we're tailwind him. And we're posing that threat with this giant Sacred Fire. We are posing that threat here. Because in this drought, it takes him out. So he either protects or he goes after somebody. And takes a hard hit. And lets us get off the town. Which is just lovely. Just just lovely. The so Suicune in the back end, so far the right call. Even though Robum could have been really, really nice here. So the grass guy would have just taken out the Tapu, uh, Tapu Finny. Then we, then we could have just started chipping away onto the, uh, the Rillaboom. 
But close combat's gonna fly through here. It's easy eats all day. All day. Now we outspeed. Your defense is down. We're just gonna be able to take that thing out easily. Instantly, we're gonna be able to take that thing out. Get it out, my game, dude. Life orb. Stab. In the drought. Super effective. And your defense is down. Get out, my game, dude. We're not dealing with Zassians today. We are not dealing with Zassians today. We are just eating them up left and right. Tailwind's gonna be able to set up. I don't see Tapu Fini taking me out. I don't see Tapu Fini taking me out. Even with this Moon Bash. Actually, maybe with this Moon Bash. Let's see. No. Yeah, no. Nope. Nope, 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 I didn't know. Get him out of here, dude. Yo, I'm buzzing today. I'm buzzing today, yo. It's not even like I'm getting, like, easy wins. I'm just simply outplaying my opponents today. Just simply outplaying my opponents with the C. Love it, though. I think it's weak and looks sick, though. Look at all these moves. These moves, mm, moves are rough. Moves are real rough, but we'll be able to go into extreme speed and a snarl, so we'll be able to drop special attack. He's just going to protect turn one, see what we got, get some leftovers. Yo, I'm totally chilling with that. I'm totally chilling that, with that. Because what I have to do is constantly drop a special attack. I, I can't do any damage to this thing with this weekend. I really cannot. So extreme speed is definitely going to have to come out here. And just keep chipping away. Snarl. Extreme speed. I think Snarl might do just the same amount of damage as the leftovers. Let's see. Extreme speed comes out here. And there we go. Now that works. That works even better. Extreme Speed just dumps on top of Finny. We go back to back. We're sitting at 2-0. Oh. Let's hop into that third and final and look for that perfect record. Have you guys ever seen Shark Tale? If you guys have, let me know in the comment section down below. It is a great movie. It's Will Smith's The Fish, and he's technically the shark slayer in the movie. And that's how I feel right now. I feel like that character, considering we just took out two Zassians. So right now, we're the Zassian slayer. We're just going off and teeing off on Zassians left and right. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. And thankfully, we're not going up against another Zassian team. We're going up against a Groudon team here. And he also has Nihilego, Rillaboom, Galarian Weezing, and then he has the Talon Fame for Tailwind with the Gale Wings ability. And then the Cherum to set that sun down. So he's definitely looking for sun. Definitely probably going to go into Entei here. Kind of want to go into Grim Snarl 2 to set up a nice little screens. So I think this is an easy lead. Actually, I could go Rillaboom as a nice lead. Rillaboom could be a solid lead. Or I could just go for speed control early on with Suicune and... Yeah, Suicune and uh, what's it called could be great. Suicune and Grim Snarl. And then we'll bring... Uh, we'll definitely bring Entei. And I kind of want Salamence here. I don't want Salamence here. We'll say Zama's that you can stay in the back end. And we'll roll off from here. And yo, this might be a first. We haven't brought in Rillaboom. We have not brought in Rillaboom. Most of the time, we're bringing in Rillaboom with Rill with Rillaboom on team because he's just so good. But it's just like, dude, I don't, I don't really want to use him anymore. <laughs> I really don't want to use him anymore. He's so good, but it's just like, I can use other Pokemon and I'm winning with other Pokemon. So I'm feeling really good about my balance right now. Really, really good. Even if we lose this game. But he leads the Rillaboom. I should have saw the Nihilego lead. I should have saw that coming all day. I should have saw that coming all day. So we could easily go for a fake out. He could go for a glide. Oh, dang it, Rillaboom, man. Uh, I guess we'll set up a Reflect turn one. Actually, we can set up a Reflect turn two if I want to. I'll set up a Late Screen just in case he goes for like a Meteor Beam or something along those lines. And I'll try to get off this Tailwind. This lovely, this lovely, lovely Tailwind. He's just gonna fake out onto my Grimmsnarl. That's totally fine. We should be able to get off a Tailwind pretty easily. I think Nihilego still outspeeds. Yeah, he's gonna go for that meat. Mmm. Mmm. Hopefully you go for Suicune, because I, I see Suicune being able to just soak it up. Soaking it up all day. And then us being able to get off a Tailwind. And then trying to get out our other Pokemon and roll out from there. Here's a Meteor Beam. I should have saw Nihilego. He's such, a, he's such a lead Pokemon. So he takes out my Grimmsnarl. He just takes out my Grim Snarl, which I'm cool with. I mean, he does have Grassy Guide. If I bring out Salamence here, the Grassy Guide will not be able to take us out. But the Beast Boost is out and about, and that is scary. Beast Boost is definitely scary. But Tailwind's out and about. We're going to start taking speed. And we're going to get rolling from here. We're going to bring out my Salamence. Ooh, or I could bring out. could bring out you, Ente. Hmm. I'm going to bring out Ente, and I think I'm just going to swap the Suicune into the Salamence. I think that might definitely be our play. Because I don't think he's rocking another rock move besides Meteor Beam, so he's definitely going to charge it up. So I can just go into a Secret Fire here and just hard swap into Salamence. Just to force the Glide to come across this way. Because A, it will be not very effective. B, he will be intimidated. And C, he will take Rocky Hunt damage. So I do dig that turn. I do indubitably dig that turn. Indubitably. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 
But let's see. Let's see. I don't care if we lose this battle, but you guys know the rules. We don't get swept. We don't get swept. And that's our goal right here, is to not get swept. If you're going 2-0, I already brought you the content. I already brought you Eugene's content. So we're just trying not to get swept here. <laughs> gonna go for a glide. Look at that. Forced to glide over there. Eugene's just making plays, baby. Take a fire's gonna fly through here, and we are not getting swept. Because this thing is done. He's done. Get him out of my game. We don't want him here. We don't want him here. Get him out of here. Now we're looking for the win. Now your boy's looking for the win. Now this is personal. <laughs> Let's see what he goes into. You know Rocket Grass Knot. Easy eats, baby. Easy eats. Rocky Helmet just chipping away. Rocky Helmet just chipping away on the guys. Just chipping away. Let's see who he rolls into. Go ahead. Roll into ground on. I dare you. I dare you. Cherub. Who I can also smoke up with some with some sacred fire stuff and things. Or I could go into a dual wing beat. Or I can just slowly rock to this. We're going to a break and swipe. Into a law tier. I think I'm just going to rock tomb this thing. I'm just slowing this thing down. Chipping away onto it. You know the wing beat probably would have did a bit more damage. He ends up protecting the Cherim. He ends up protecting the Cherim. Bigger fire is going to get blocked. And I wonder what he's going for. Going for... Oh, yo. This thing's rocking power gem. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, let's go after Anthony. What a play by him. I give him that play all day. He's power gemming, yo. I usually usually they're rocking uh usually they're rocking protect, meteor beam, sludge bomb, and then I wouldn't say power gem. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, power gem's pretty viable. <laughs> a lot of them actually use power gem. That's tough. That's tough for us. We're probably gonna lose this match. But still, we didn't get swept. That was my that was my one goal for a certain final battle. Let's see, let's see how this dude plays this one out. Uh, cause we again we do have the tailman out and about. This last Pokemon has got to be, like, it has got to be the, uh, it's got to be the ground, right? This thing's rocking Grassy Guide, bro. <laughs> this little buggy over here is rocking Grassy Guide. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. Citrus Berry does pop out here. Sacred Fire should be able to come out. And he outspeeds, man. Power Gem, eat up. Now we're dead. We're dead all day. Oh, my God. Nihilego. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Did our tailwind end? I'm kind of curious. Is that why we're not out speeding anymore? Was that thing just that fast? I think our tailwind ended. I didn't even notice. I think I just messed this one up. You know, we probably still would have lost this one. That was said, if I knew our tailwind ended. I oh know. See, we still had a tailwind. I think it's just out speeding now. I think it's just cooking. He's just cooking. Let me see this thing's stats. I mean, let me see. He has no speed boost, right? Oh, he has plus three. Wow. Oh, that was what his beast boost went towards. Okay. I thought his beast boost went towards something else. I thought it went towards special attack. But it's all good. We're going to run this battle. The hit Lego just dumped on us. But hey, we didn't get swept. And we had two great battles with our first two battles. What a team. What a team right here. Absolutely loved it. Got to show off the power of Zamazen. It's such a great Pokemon and very, very underused. Shout out to my boy Cloverbells for leading this team for me. I absolutely loved it. Everything about it was amazing. We got to show off Zamazen, like I just said. And more importantly, I feel like we got to show off Salamence really, really well. A very, very underused pseudo legendary who I still think is top tier. I still think he's very, very good. And like I said, he has a lot of viability on the scene. We also got to show off this Entei. Entei's an absolute beast with this team right here. Considering we can how him, get that boosted attack. Then him with the life orb is just doing a ridiculous amount of damage. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you all in the night. Peace out, everybody.